I am Miss Eunice, and we are going to talk about the research process. Research is a systematic process broken up into clear steps that helps us answer questions and lead to conclusions. According to David Annan in his book, A Guide to Research Writing, in 2019, he defined research as a systematic way of answering questions about the world. It is intended to increase knowledge about the process of developing an understanding of the natural laws governing the universe, innovations of new ideas, commitment and technological advantages, which will improve the welfare of humanity. Basically, nagre-research tayo when we have questions in mind. We consult Google, at sa panahon ngayon, for those who are not fond of reading but learns quickly through watching, we consult YouTube. Information is just a click away, ika nga. But this research that we are talking about does not only satisfy our curiosity, but it contributes to the existing knowledge, it is innovative, it has technological, social, and personal advantages, higit sa lahat, it makes our lives convenient. And most of these advancements na nasa paligid natin, we are now utilizing because of research. And because research is a systematic science, it has features. First, it must be objective. Ang data hindi pwedeng maimpluensyahan ng personal feelings or opinions ng researcher. And if in case, ma-prove ng researcher na mali ang kanyang hypothesis sa study, the researcher should be humble enough to admit that the hypothesis is wrong. Also, data collection rules must be strictly followed. Always be reminded of the ethics to be observed when conducting a research. Tandaan, your study should not harm its participants and participation should be voluntary. The same goes for data analysis. Strictly follow the rules para maiwasan ang data fabrication and falsification. Also, your conclusions should be based on data and not on preconceptions. Your conclusion should not reflect your own beliefs, values, and biases. It also emphasizes uncovering regularities and patterns of social and behavioral phenomena. For those who are planning to study behavior, know that behavior can easily be influenced by culture, life experiences, beliefs, and other variables. It is changing through time. That is why research is very much significant in discovering social and behavioral phenomena. Your research must also emphasize the study of aggregates rather than individual cases. Gather data from a group instead of getting information from an individual. Hindi pwedeng mag-generalize. For example, May data ka from a person, and sa study mo, you are saying that the data from that specific person already represents the entire population. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na dahil si Juan, na isang psychology student, ay mataas ang emotional intelligence, nangangahulugang lahat ng psychology students ay may mataas na emotional intelligence. The research study also should welcome the idea of replication. Maari ipagpatuloy, i-confirm, or even i-debunk ang iyong findings. A research study is often theory-based. Either the theory is being tested, developed, or being used as a basis for creating new theory or knowledge. With all those features given, siguro one of your realizations is the fact that research is almost all around us. It is present in our government policies. People must be living better lives dahil nag-research meticulously bago mag-come up sa isang government policy. For those officials na nagsasabing research is not significant, tandaan that these policies won't even be conceptualized without careful examination of facts and watchful observation. Research affects decision-making. In education, industry, and other fields, there are better inputs to operate effectively and plan strategically because of research. Research is present in social and cultural interactions. There are better programs and collaborations between people. In medicinal and health, research saves lives and discover ways of promoting well-being among people. Environmental awareness and protection, we can somehow avoid disasters because of research. Pero syempre, ang natural disasters are events that we cannot control. 
but at least we were able to devise ways on how to predict when the disaster is coming and some precautionary measures. Also, because of research, we have new inventions. Products and devices are being invented to make lives easier for living beings. Neil Armstrong once quoted, Research is creating new knowledge. It is indeed a systematic study to generate or discover knowledge. And this systematic study is often an academic practice that involves number one, defining a problem or investigating a question. Number two, formulating a hypothesis or argument. Number three, referring to different sources or ideas, limited only to those that are credible and relevant. Number four, collecting, analyzing, and organizing data. And lastly, making deductions that lead to conclusions. The research process has a traditional pattern of how it is performed. First is the question or argument. Identify the question you want to be answered in your tentative argument for your question. May research problem ka at merong pa rin hypothesis. Second, survey. Ask people's ideas and confirm, challenge, modernize, or improve existing research. May mga study na kailangan mo makipag-converse sa ibang professionals or experts sa field na gusto mong i-research. Kasi kung ang iyong question or problem can be answered ni Google, then there's no need for you to research. Third is the literature review. Search for patterns or disagreements and understand how research contributes to the field of reality. You have to look for sources, books, or journals that are related to your interest of study. Fourth is the outlining methods. Ask yourself, where does your evidence come from and how will you analyze your evidence? Then outline them. Fifth is the data gathering. Begin data gathering using survey forms, interviews, and other data gathering methods. After data gathering, you now have your results. What did you observe? What are the statistics and how many people support your idea? Seventh, discuss. Discuss the most salient facts and facets of your research, organize, synthesize, and interpret data. Lastly, conclusion. Summarize and give practical recommendations for the usefulness of the research. You see, research is beneficial to us in general. You will be conducting your own research too. But do not look at it as a mere requirement because researching offers personal benefits aside from the paper itself. Jose E. Trinidad in 2018 has an inspiring message to researchers to not look at the benefits that come with the end product but also at those that come in the process of writing research. Research writing develops critical thinking. Analyze where the ideas come from and test if the information is factual. Examine logic, reason, and strength of claims. It promotes organization, the ability to think and write in a way that is focused, cohesive, and coherent. It promotes self-discipline and perseverance, self-discipline to master enough strength to write something even if you are uninspired to write and perseverance to finish the paper and not give up on it midway. And it encourages teamwork, facilitate meetings, clarify expectations, communicate effectively, and discuss differences amicably. That's all for this lesson. If you find this video helpful, then please like the video, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell to keep you notified. Thank you for watching!